people, I am here with an update about an incident that took place in Claremont Centre yesterday where fire got in a house and claimed the life of one man known as Norman Hay. For those who don't understand, I am going to replay a clip and then I come back and let you all know what Norman Hay's sister is saying. Now people, a man identified only by the name Norman was today killed in a house fire in Beach and Will Claremont St. Anne about 8.20 a.m. It is alleged that Norman recently had a stroke, so he was homesick. Unconfirmed reports are that he also did a surgery. Norman wasn't living alone. He lives with his wife, who is a teacher, and their son. Allegations are that his wife keep locking him in the house while she goes to work, and no one else have the key not even her son, because he, among others, had to stand outside the burning house and watch his dad burn to death. How the fire started, we don't know, but I'm sure if Norman had a key, as sick as he may be, he would get outside the house before the fire engulf the whole building and he wouldn't burn to death. That was what I said in my report yesterday. And yes, people, it is confirmed that Norman Hay had a stroke and did a surgery. He was actually in a wheelchair inside the house. And remember them say, him wife lock him inside the house and gone her school job because she's a teacher. Now, after everything, cooling down operations and they move the body from the veranda, his sister, that is Norman Hay's sister, her name is Stacy Ann Beckford, she made a post on Facebook and it says, And Marie Louise Hay, that teach out at Golden Grove all age, kill off my brother Norman. The wicked woman lock up my brother in the house and the man burned to death on the veranda. The man cried for help and no one could help. And you win today, but the Almighty God na sleep. When you want me read it again, people, the post say, Anne Marie Louis Hay, that teach out at Golden Grove all age, kill off my brother, nor man. The wicked woman lock up my brother in the house and the man burned to death on the veranda. The man cried for help and no one could help. And you win today, but the Almighty God na sleep. And people, the wickedest thing about it, the man have a water truck park up in him yard, and the water truck couldn't start, you know. Because him said this man supply or support the community with water. So them call him water man. And you see the water man perish in a one fire and him truck park up in him yard full of water. When them do get the truck start and try to out the fire, he gone bad already. You wicked me not like people, trust me. This is what residents had to say. Juba, this happened in Claremont, St. Anne, Beach, Hansville. A man born up in him house. Him and his wife and his son live, but his wife and his son never did it. And he looked like the wife locked him up in another house. And him grew up. When the fire started, him run out from the veranda, ball for help and could get no help because it, he didn't have no key to come out. I don't really know the full story of it, but I that me me here alleged allegedly adapt me here why you bother that one you lick me bad because me know the guy now me know the guy call him me and him go school together but him went in a higher grade than me why he ain't no pretty he ain't no pretty at all Juba, when me hear about my blood run cold the man burn to ashes the man burn to ashes Juba. The woman and my ears say yes I try must see trying yes he did the man look for key you know and you know he could have find no key the woman lock up the man in the house and me yes I must say four months ago or six months ago in do one brain surgery and the woman lock up the man in the house and gone about her business one man when the neighbor did that help him in a job and when the neighbor wall and pan the grill you know your neighbor hand burn out in a job People, all me know, this man get a terrible debt. Very terrible debt him get. Terrible with a capital T. 
them said the fire started at the back of the house. So maybe him in the house and see the fire and see the smoke and I try to search the key. But him and search and search and can't find until it's too late. The fire take over the whole place. So him go up on the veranda now a ball for help. But it's too late them time because nobody can go near the fire. Nobody can touch the grill because I hear the woman say, a man go touch the grill and he hand me burn out. Seeing because I remember you know, one house a burn down. And on a normal heat that a come up of the house. And the man in there in a wheelchair. Pan the veranda, a man say him see when him run towards the room, like him want come out, but the room full of fire already too. So him have nowhere to go. Him have to just burn, like you in the people. Just imagine you in a one house, right? And fire start in a house. And you go so boom, you run to that wire, he door can't pull. Remember a fire, you know, you can't turn back the fire with the hand, you know. He door can't pull. You run to the next door, it's still not pull. You go so boom, now go to the veranda. A grill lock and you don't have no key and you're inside and you can't push yourself through no part of a grill. Tell me now how you da feel. You see everything come in front of you because you know say that is your end of death that now if nobody no come help you quick and fast and nobody no want get burned. And just imagine a man outside of the house or the house are burned and you feel so much heat. Just imagine the man, the elder man were inside of the house because he was 51 in there and he was sick. Just imagine the heat alone kill him before the fire even touch him. Me I tell the people. Him not deserve that. Everybody say a good man. Everybody say this man is a good man. And he never deserve to be killed like that. Because trust me people. I'm, no sir. This is serious. You know? If I say go for the woman lock up the man in the house. This is a past murder. Because the man sick. And if a man sick, people are supposed to have access to that person. You get me and say? So you can't lock up. A matter of fact, you don't feel lock up nobody in a no way. And a prisoner. So you're not supposed to lock up nobody. And the man a big somebody. So why you lock up the man in the house? You don't feel lock up no picnic in the house. So you can't lock up big somebody in the house. Remember, you know? You cannot lock up a child in a house. So you can't lock up big somebody in a house neither. And worse, the man sick. Them say once a man, twice a child. So for him moment in a wheelchair, I am child moment. So him should never lock up in a house. Him should have somebody there uh, attend to him. No one again. Like every other hour, somebody go check on him and make sure he's alright because watch him. Him sick. Seen? But if people lock out, then he can't go in. Everybody have to stay out. Just like what happened yesterday with the fire. No matter where a man do. Yo, Jesus have mercy, my youth. Me see the man's son come there. Eh? He went traumatize him of yourself, the man dead. That time his father done dead already, people. The fire blaze him out already. Eh? Charge a youth. You, 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 you notice the, the video and you don't hear no bawling because watch ya, the man perish long time. May I tell you, that one wicked thing reached that the man there. You know? It could happen to anybody. So, people, be careful in your doings. That me I tell you, no.